Hiya guys, welcome once again. This is episode 171. Gotta get this thing shut off. Ah, oh, that's better. Ha <laughs> ha. How you doing today? What a blessing to have you here with me today. Today we're going to just talk about the basics of God's Word. We're going to talk about the fact that God's Word is not a dead letter. That it's living and active. And that it's useful for you to equip you so that you are ready to do every good work. Alright? That's what our plan is. Okay, let's go ahead and get into our shave. Today I am using the Tampa Shave Company's Tampa Edition Razor. There you go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And I am using an Astra Superior Platinum Blade in this. This is about the third shave on it. I'm also using the Moto Head Blade on top side, of course. And I have here A&E Ariana and Evans Platinum Shave Soap. Yes, it's just a teeny weeny little thing. Oh well. <laughs> I'll give you a look at this. It's a full little sample, but uh, I'm going to have to, of course, dig it out and put it in my scuttle. So I'll be using then, oh, Tampa Shave Company's Vetiver Fatale Aftershave Splash, that's here. And of course, I'll be using my lovely George, Georgetown Pottery Scuttle which is all hot, hot, hot. Woo! It's got hot boiling water in it. All right, you guys. There it is. Let's get cracking. Join me for the soaping. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I have my little stick, and I have the soap. I'm going to get in here, and I'm going to dig out some of the soap for the shave. pretty good. I'm going to err on the side of gosh just add a little bit more to it. Alright, so I have my soap in my scuttle now. I usually like to tamp it down a little bit, so let me go ahead and take my finger and just press it into the bottom a little bit. It'll help me to... There we go. We're all good to go there. And now, of course, I need my brush. I didn't show you what brush I was using. All right, well, today I'm going to use my brush, my Prorosso brush. Yep, that's right. It's going to go into the water right now. And we're going to go ahead and get it hydrated. And I'll squeeze all the water out of it. And here we go. We're going to whip it up. I hope you guys are doing good today. I hope everything's going famously well for you. And that the Lord is watching over and blessing you day in and day out. He certainly is blessing me day in and day out. I'll say that. All right. Got a lot of soap in here, actually. But it's not whooping up too fast yet. That's because I need some water in here. So I think what I'll do is I'll grab a few drops of water. And we'll go with that. Let's see if we can get ourselves a nice lather. Hopefully I didn't add too much. You know I don't like it too fluffy. I like it fluffy, but I don't like it too fluffy. I like a dense lather. All right, well, it's whooping up pretty good. It's looks and looking a little on the light side, but we'll see what happens. Okay, well guess what? We're gonna go with that. There you go. The, the lather is light and fluffy. 
and not dense like I like, but that might change once I get it on my face. So I'm going to reserve judgment on it for right now. Has a lovely cologne type scent to it. And uh, I'm sh by smelling it, I can tell it's going to go very good with the Vetiver Fatale from uh, Tampa Shave Company. So I'm looking forward to using it. All right, you guys, let's put this forward so you can enjoy the foam a little closer. And then I'm going to grab God's word and read from you the word that the Lord led me to choose today. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 14 through 17. This is what it says. But as for you, continue in what you have learned and firmly have firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it, and how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be competent, equipped for every good work. There you have it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's God's word. Join me now upstairs for the shave and for the devotion. Oh my goodness sakes alive, thanks for joining me. Whew, that was a close one. I never thought I was gonna find my reading back from God's word. Well, I found it. <laughs> oh my, you know you just have one of those days once in a while. And guess what? It's time to get that towel going. Guess what? The towel is a little bit on the, might I say, dry side. I have to get it wet. Don't worry, it don't take long. I'm going to stick it in the water and give it just a moment and then we will go ahead and bring it out so I can present the towel. All right, here we go. Another lovely, lovely, lovely towel presentation. Present the towel. Very good. Okay. Whew. And now, let's get on with the shave, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and bring that scuttle forward and move my mirror over. God's Word is very important. Never, ever underestimate God's Word. Because God's Word is very, very important. All right. I need a little water. There we go. That's the kind of lather I like right there. Smells and feels wonderful. God's word, my friend, is not a dead letter. It is a living and active letter. It is God, God's word has power. Okay? It has absolute power. And God tells us in this reading that it's useful for all kinds of things. For teaching. For correction. For reproof and it helps you and I as God's people to get our 
mind streak as to how salvation works. It gives us the wisdom for salvation. You know? So if you're a believer in Jesus, you have to believe in the Word and you have to use the Word. It's very important. Use the Word every day. Because through it, God is going to teach you. You know what I'm saying? He teaches you. And he will help you in all that you do, all that you do. Through his word, he's going to make everything work out good. Because his joy is that you would come to know him in a more complete, full way. Ooh, does that feel good? <laughs> Second pass across the grain. So yeah, we need we need that word. That word is very important to us. Don't discount it. Because a lot of people do this. They say, oh, you know, the Bible's just a book. There's thousands of books out there. Well, granted, yes, there, there are thousands and thousands and millions of books out there. But God's Word has not just words in it. It has the power of God within it. You know? The writings of men apart from God are nothing. They might entertain us, may entertain our thoughts and motives to go do some stuff, but honestly, God's Word has power. I mean, it really does. And that power is very important. And it does the specific job of equipping us for every good work, so that when the opportunity arises, God's Word, which is in our hearts, activates it leads us and motivates us, knowing God's word in our heart, to do what is right before him. And to be a blessing to others. So you see, it's not a dead word. It is something that will help and enliven our lives in Christ Jesus. Believe me, my friends, you need this word. It's not an option. Okay, and I got put the dick here. Mm. Hopefully, the better for I'll cure that. And now we're gonna go against the grain. Okay. that for a second. <laughs> Need some stopping power on that. Alright. Here we go with the third pass.
I have to say, I really do enjoy the Astro Blades. They're really nice. Very good. All right, you guys. Looks pretty doggone good. And now it's time. To attack the top. <laughs> In other words, it's fast. Forward time! Well, it's fast forward time. Let it go! Oh yes, baby but smooth. Oh, it feels awesome. I'm oh, loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. All right, you guys. Well, there you have it. And now it's time for the aftershave. Once again, this is Tampa Shave Company's Vetiver Fatal Aftershave Splash. Lovely, lovely, and more lovely. Beautiful! <laughs> oh, it feels so good. All right, you guys. Make sure that you take some time today. In God's Word, let it speak to you. Let it mold you. Let it change your heart. And depend on it. So that when, you know, when things start coming along, opportunities for you to share, for being God's servant, guess what? That you'll be equipped for it. I love you all. Thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful, blessed day in the Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you, and may He give you Nick Free, uh oh, and baby butt smooth shaves. Have a great day, everyone. Toodles.